All right, so I'm back. I'm here to make a video for you guys on how to renew your CCW. So if you guys are seeing this video, you're probably here because you saw my first video about how to get your concealed carry permit in California. I still have mine. I, I hope, fingers crossed, I just submitted all my paperwork and application for, for the renewal for an additional two years. So I'm gonna walk you guys through that process a little bit since I just completed my class and I just completed my range day. I also have some footage for you guys of my actual range day. Not of me per se, but kind of got the phone out and I was doing a little recording since there was only five people in our group. There was a few gentlemen, one woman. And it was actually useful footage. I wish I could have recorded the whole thing because the woman who was there actually struggled a little bit with her fi couple firearms. And you'll see it in the, in the small clip, but it, it was useful because you kind of see how well you're going to do under pressure, how far the the uh, target is away. That's a question I get a lot. How far is this target from you? So this gives you an accurate depiction as far as what you could expect on your initial qualification and your requalification. So I'll walk you through that step by step. There's a little information I wanted to go over with you. Uh, you're probably going to get an email which is going to say, hey, it's about time to renew your CCW. Um, you got to watch a few videos since we're not having a class in person due to the whole you know 2020 thing that's going on. They're trying to keep the social distancing thing um, in effect. But they have prepared three videos via YouTube that they're going to want you to watch. You're going to click on each individual link. They're about 45 minutes to an hour, I think. You're gonna watch each video and then you're gonna be required to sign an affidavit at the end that you submit with your application that specifies you watch them in their entirety and um, <clears throat> you, you basically like, that's your class. That's, mm -hmm. that's basically in place of the class. So you're gonna get an email about your CCW you're gonna get some additional information about uh, where to sign up for a class, um, how much the class is gonna cost, <clears throat> but all of this information is provided for you on San Bernardino's website. So if you go to the sheriff's website, which you could just simply Google CCW San Bernardino, it will take you to their website and it has a ton of useful information, which I recommend everyone watch if you have questions, because I get a ton of questions. Here you go, CCW FAQ. So you just click on the link. It takes you directly to their website. Scroll down and depending on your situation, if you're renewing, you're gonna click on renewing you have an application that you have to fill out. So you may have filled out one for the initial qualifying two years ago. You have to fill out a second one. And it's very thorough, right? I mean, you got to think about it. They're going through a background check again. They want to make sure nothing has changed. Your, your uh, residency hasn't changed. If you've gotten married, you want to specify that. If you've been arrested or if you've involved in a... Um, some kind of lawsuit, <clears throat> you know, all that, all that little information that is useful in providing them for providing them what they need to make a decision on whether or not you're going to get a license or they're going to renew your license or they're going to revoke your license. And the application is also for uh, new weapons. So if you're going to add a weapon, to the CCW card. In my case, I kind of got to my application pretty late in the game and they suggested if you're gonna renew your your license and add a weapon, you wanna do it within 60 to 90 day period. I didn't do it within 60 to 90 day period. I actually did it within the last like 25 days before my license gets you know expires, but it's due to work. I wasn't able to get this process started due to work. So you're gonna wanna add your information if you have a new firearm you want to add or if you want to remove one in my case i sold one so i notified them hey i sold one a few months back i'm only going to be renewing with my one uh shield on my ccw 
and that was about it. All this paperwork is is pretty much <clears throat> do's and don'ts. I get a lot of questions of, hey, if I've done this, will I still qualify? Or if I'm going through this, will I qualify for a license? Are they going to deny me? Are they going to revoke me? So I strongly suggest you go to the website right there, read through the application, um, check out all the fees. There are fees involved with renewing. Right here, you got 52. Oh, sorry, that was a... That was a mistake on my part. You got 52 to DOJ, uh, another 39 to San Bernardino, and 28 to San Bernardino. Now, see how it says paid to safety class? I thought that was paid at the time of my, my shooting, but unfortunately, it wasn't. So there was a discrepancy there. So don't be fooled. You have to take that additional cashier's check into the sheriff's office when you drop off your application. And be sure that it's a postal money order. I made the mistake of going to Walmart and getting a regular money order. And when I went to take it down, they're like, this isn't sufficient. We said postal. I'm like, I thought all money orders were the same. Turns out they're not. And the only reason I did that is because there was a holiday on Monday and I was trying to get this done ASAP, but the post office was closed. So I had to just do what I could. Kind of screwed me over because I wasted <clears throat> wasted a couple days, but I ended up going to the West End Gun Club for my shooting class. So you basically go to their website, you schedule your shooting class. It was like 25 bucks payable at the time of the shooting. You go, and I only went to the West End just because it was closer to me and their, their website interface was a little easier. But here you can see a couple of the videos I took. So this is a range, it's kind of nice. So right here, the woman's actually struggling with her, her gun and the range master approached her and we all kind of observed to have him clear, clear the weapon. And there's my little group. Not too bad if I say so myself. And then uh, your proficiency card. So your proficiency card is uh, just gonna be, you know, it just shows that you pass with what weapon and um, you know, that's pretty much it. The range master is going to send this over to the sheriff's department. You don't got to worry about it too much. But that's just your copy. So if you were to have a second or a third gun, you would be filling out the information in the second and third space. And in my case, it's blank. And I, I just put a black mark through my serial number. No one needs to see that information. If you missed it in that, that one of those clips, I'll show you. But... She was struggling a little bit. I'll pause it. You can kind of see where she was just fighting the gun. And I wish I could have recorded more. Unfortunately, I couldn't. But fingers crossed, I get a renewal in a few weeks. They're supposed to send me a card. And hopefully, I'll still be a, a, a CCW holder. If I can do it, you guys could do it. That's all I gotta say. And then discriminate, you know? I got the bald head, but I'm sure some of you guys out there are not are going without haircuts too. Cut my own hair. Um, driving around in a lower truck still. So uh, they don't discriminate. I think they're very, uh, they're very helpful. Everyone on the range at Weston Gun Club was very helpful. And um, it, it was overall a smooth transaction. A little, little confusion as far as the application goes and the money orders. And I, I felt myself getting frustrated when I was turning my application in because one, they didn't tell me, like they didn't review my paperwork the first time I went. So when I went the second time and they actually reviewed my paperwork, then they told me something else was wrong. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So when you take your uh, proof of residency, they're gonna want a utility bill. Make sure it's current. My utility bill was like a month late. And basically, I, I, I was behind a month in paying my water bill, and they wouldn't accept it. So, pay it online, get it current, print out a copy online if you guys do like paperless. Take it down, because you're going to want to see a current utility bill. So, good luck. If you guys have questions, leave them below. Appreciate you guys watching. See you later.